Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sneha and in today's video, I'm going to talk you through the book Good Vibes, Good Life by Vex King. Now, I think that this book is the best self-help book for especially young people. And why do I think so? It's because the writer himself is someone who is really young and it is just so much more relatable when someone of your own generation writes something, especially something which is for your own guidance, something that belongs to a generation that is going through a lot of complexities today. So that's why I think that this book is really a good book for young people, especially teenagers and even young adults. Another thing that I really like about this book is the fact that this book is not as repetitive as other self-help books. Now there are different topics that are curated in different chapters and all the chapters are really small and crisp so it's not like it's stretched to a limit where it doesn't resonate to you anymore and I really love that fact about this book because I have read other self-help books and it gets really repetitive. Although this book also gets repetitive after a certain point, like the last few chapters, like the last part of the book is a little repetitive. But otherwise, all the other parts of this book are really amazing. They are just so relevant. Now, as the title of the book already suggests that this book is about good vibes and good life. That is, this book discusses the law of vibration. Now, law of vibration is really a lot similar to law of attraction. I think it's just a new phrase that has been used instead of law of attraction. Now law of vibration is a lot like law of attraction but law of vibration is a little more scientific. I mean it sounds more scientific, it sounds more accurate and that is the thing that I actually like about this book. Now I learned some really good lessons from the book and I'm going to share them with you as well. Taking some time out for yourself is a very important part of self-love. So you can just make yourself some coffee or tea or hot lemon and then sit with your favorite book, read your favorite book and enjoy that time that you spend with your book. You can also spend your time in your balcony and sip on your coffee or hot lemon and just you know reflect on to your emotions what you're feeling what are the things that are going on in your life what are the things that are bothering you and what you can do to change all those things what you can do to make your life better so it's the time that you bring out for yourself so that you reflect on to what you are feeling so first of all surround yourself with good people surround yourself with people who raise your vibration to a better level and not lower your vibrations so it is very important that you are surrounded by good and right people now you cannot obviously judge people as good and bad but you can always determine if a person is adding any value to your life like after interacting with them how are you feeling if you're feeling good after interacting with them and if you're feeling pumped up and just more at peace then obviously that person is good for you and right for you but if you think that after talking to them or after interacting with them you're feeling really low and you're feeling really exhausted then you you know you have to determine that this person is not the right person to be around it doesn't mean that that person is a bad person it just means that your vibrations are not resonating with theirs or there's just some problem and to avoid that you can avoid that person instead of spending time on social media you can also you know get away from all those distractions and just find some inspiration find some art inspiration or anything if you are a music lover you can find your inspiration on some other platform if you are someone who is into lifestyle or designing you can find your inspiration on pinterest there are so many platforms you just have to find that and look for inspiration that will motivate you to do better in your personal life a lot of people actually go through relationship problems and it is just really sad that we have to go because there are a lot of complexities in today's world and it's really difficult to continue your relationship with someone because there are just so many people around us and 
it's just difficult now it is very important for you to understand if you are with a toxic person in a relationship and it is also equally important for you to determine if you are the toxic person in a relationship now if you are with a toxic person obviously you need to get out of that relationship because it is very important for your mental health on the other hand it is just as important to determine if you are the toxic person in a re relationship because it is also taking a toll on your mental health and on the person with, with whom you are with so it's very important like you have to keep a check on your behavior if you think that you are depending on that person too much if you are expecting too much from that person and your idea and definition of a relationship and the things that you expect from them have changed wildly in the last few weeks or months then you have to understand that and take good actions now i know we promise each other a lot of things but sometimes at a point it's not possible for us to continue you know fulfilling those promises because those promises were made in a time when things were different and now because things are different now it's better that you move on because you're just not good for each other anymore procrastination is something that we all go through in our lives and it's just really difficult to move out of that loop or from that vicious cycle you just don't know how to get started with your work it's that difficult when you are procrastinating and once you start procrastinating you just keep on doing that but if you have dreams and if you have some really specific dreams that you want to accomplish or achieve as soon as possible then you have to motivate yourself out of that loop of procrastination so you can get started with the work that will lead you towards your dreams because if you keep procrastinating and not doing your work that is required to achieve those dreams then you are just deliberately and voluntarily delaying your dreams you know you are just delaying it for the longest of time and it will just take you a lot of time to achieve those and you will just get frustrated you will you will be devastated when you don't achieve those dreams so it is better to take some pain and get out of that phase of laziness and start working on your dreams start being focused and you know just being so driven that nothing can deviate you from those dreams the thing is there is really a very thin line of difference between ordinary and extraordinary the people who are extraordinary always see the silver lining even if the sky is dark they always look for happiness they always look for hope and they are so dedicated all the time they are so dedicated that they always keep looking for inspiration for things that will make them happy even if things are really dark it's very imperative for you to understand that you need real friendship in your life now and friendships that are all about just going out clubbing partying are not really friendships if you're not really there for each other when you both need each other the most then i don't think it's really friendship also you should never leave your friends for anyone else your friends are the most important part of your life so if you are a real friend obviously you're not going to leave your friends for someone else or you know you're just not you will not just stop giving your friends attention because now you have a lot of people with you so it's very important that you yourself also are a great friend now celebrating your achievements is a very important thing and why because it doesn't matter if it's a small achievement or if it's a big achievement an achievement is an achievement nonetheless and it needs to be celebrated especially by you so if you want something and you are not celebrating it because you think that okay this was just a small competition and it doesn't really matter so small achievements when they collectively gather they become great achievements all right guys so these were all the lessons that i personally loved from this book and i think that this book needs to be read by everyone because this will um, resolve a lot of conflicts and this will help you to take some important decisions in your life so if you like my video then do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you are notified every time i put up a new video since i post new videos every week and i'll see you next time until then goodbye